In another work-related phone call on Wednesday, April 29, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Qinghai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom answering some questions that staff members had on various topics. But first, Master wished to send a specific message. Oh, by the way, I need to give a message, okay? Yes. Before you ask questions, this message is important. This is a message to the end. I cannot spell it all out because I'm worried. The negative leftover will make trouble. So this is a message for the end. Please pray and give thanks. Not to worry. He will be fine. End message. The people concerned, they will know. They will understand. Okay? Ah, uh, okay. During the conference, Master revealed further spiritual insights on the COVID-19 pandemic, including divine confirmation of its real source, and elaborated on heaven's strict order for humans in this period of time, and what it takes to go to heaven, expressing her firm determination to bring justice to all suffering beings. Master also candidly shared the reason she had replaced the third level God and expressed her wholehearted feelings in the wake of losing one of her noble, self-sacrificing dogs. Among other topics, staff also asked Master for advice on how we can be better instruments for God. Humility, okay. humility, respect, yes. okay? Yes, Master. Because if I say that, it seems self-serve. You have to respect your Master. Of course. The one that saved your souls and many of your generations. Number one. Number two, you have to be humble. Yes, Master. The tools. Always be grateful to God's grace that you are able to do this noble job. Never think that you are doing it. Because that you stop the flow of the blessing. Stop the flow of inspiration. Yes, Master. Always be humble, humble, humble and grateful. That's all. Okay. Oh, humble. Okay. Humble, yes. <laughs> Train yourself to do it if you can. Humble, grateful, respectful. Yes. Respectful for your Master is not <laughs> like respect for her physical being or anything. She represents high heaven, at least. She represents God Almighty. You must respect. Yes, Master. And you will have more marriage, more beautiful happenings in your life, more happiness, more leisure, more lightness, more improvement in your meditation and in your work and your talent, anything. Pray for that. You cannot feel yourself humble enough. Pray for it. Please make me more humble. Okay. As humble as possible, so that I can serve God. I can serve the suffering. Yes, Master. Lessen their uh, anguish and sorrow. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Hope for them. laughs> yes, Master. Yes. We pray. <laughs> you just touch my heart again. I cannot. <laughs> cannot forget. We we'll keep praying, Master. Okay. Thank you so much. Most compassionate Master, we deeply thank you for the love, mercy, and protection that you shower upon our world and all beings. In heaven's benevolence, we pray to always remember to be humble, grateful, and respectful of most gracious Master, so that divine power may work through us continuously. May the mighty heavens shield Master as a peace-bringing mission heads toward triumphant completion. For the full broadcast of this phone conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune into Between Master and Disciples in the next few days.